to me, with this new mounting system, one of the keys, one of the problems that I've had with Radio Popper, and I think a lot of other people have, and more importantly, Cody's had with our business, um, is the Velcro. And having to use duct tape or other forms of tape for this system. With this, there's no Velcro needed, there's no masking tape, there's no gaffer's tape, there's no duct tape. You don't need anything. It literally mounts right on your hot shoe. This snaps right on top. It actually has a nice little feature in the back that has different notches. So depending on what Canon flash you use, the 550, the 581, or the 2, it simply lines up the sensor perfect with the sensor on the back of the Radio Popper receiver. And it mounts right on directly into a hot shoe. I mean, mount, this mounts onto a hot shoe, and then this mounts onto a monopod, a tripod, or a light stand. Really, really, really simple, but yet ingenious design. So without this system, without this new mounting system, I would definitely have to give the props to um, Pocket Wizard, but with this new mounting system, I gotta go the other way and give it to um, Radio Popper because it really took away the biggest problem that we had, and that's having to use tape and Velcro and everything to get this thing lined up. And not only line it up, but actually hold it there an entire session, us running around. Um, now I don't have to do it. It literally holds everything nice and tight, which is really kind of cool. And one thing that's also with this is you can just simply take this off and put it on another flash. Um, really, really easy, really, really quick, which is another problem that we've had in the past because we had to tape it all the way around and it was really almost a permanent thing for that session. So it's really, really easy to switch out flashes with this system. And then finally, the system uh, on the back to the pocket wizards, this is um, our flash. If you want the flash functions, you have to mount it onto the, um, the TT1 or TT5. It's a, trans, uh, it's a transceiver, the TT5. This is just the, the mini TT1, which is only a transmitter. And while the hot shoe is really, really nice, there's no question, it's really, really nice, um, easy, quick, and fast. In the pass-through system where this it takes it, the, the, um, the mini takes the information from the camera and then actually passes it through to the flash and they can go back and forth, so it's kind of the middleman. It's actually kind of an ingenious uh, concept, really nice. But you can't use everything that your flash has capable of doing, and, and that bothers me since we're such um, flash enthusiasts and we know more than just set our camera, I mean our flashes on manual and adjust and, and go, um, it bothers me that I can't use this in manual now. It bothers me that um, a lot of the custom functions won't uh, perform correctly. It bothers me there's a lot of little things that I, ha I can't use. And then finally, I haven't had this problem yet but I'm worried because with my pocket wizards, um, like the, um, the multis and the max, we've had problems these plastic feet snap real easy uh, with a little hit. And I understand their concept. They'd rather have this foot break on your pocket wizard than your hot shoe on your flash. And absolutely, I agree with that concept 100%. But now that I have my $420 flash mounted on top, I really don't want that plastic foot to break. I want it to be on there nice and sturdy. And now that this is so top heavy, and it's pretty sturdy, but if I hit that, I have a feeling either this, but that's metal. This um, connection is metal to metal, so that's not the weak point. The weak point is definitely gonna be the plastic to metal, so it's gonna probably snap right here, leaving my flash on the ground. So I have a problem with that design. Um, obviously, it hadn't happened yet, and it's so new. It might not ever happen, I don't know, but it is a concern right off the bat that I have with this design. So again, kind of recap, if it wasn't for the mounting system of the Radio Popper, I would definitely give the design to Pocket Wizard. Uh, but now that this ingenious little simple design has kind of come out, that pretty much does incorporates everything that the Pocket Wizard system can do in the way they designed. But in my mind, because the antenna doesn't hang out to get hung up on, it's lighter, which is really big for Tricos since we do everything very portable, very fast, and very efficient. And um, it's very simplistic, and it and it. It goes very easy, because this is actually a two-part system. I can break it down and store it in my bag a lot easier than the other ones. Um, it just, I gotta give it to Pocket Wizard. I mean, to, excuse me, to Radio Popper now that they've come out with this. Let's talk a little bit about um, one advantage that I thought Pocket Wizard was gonna have um, after talking to several other photographers in the industry. I had never really thought about it, but it's absolutely true that the new Pocket Wizard system with the, uh, the Mini Flex, uh, I mean the mini TL and the the flex system basically this little nice thing replaces your old 
ultras and your max and when anything else that you have on the top of your camera as a transmitter which is really a great improvement it's nice and small it didn't have a big antenna it didn't stick straight up it's more flush mount um, but it also now has TTL capabilities so you actually with the TTL the flex TT5 acting in the front you can actually have TTL aspects with that flash that's mounted to the flex and then in the back you could actually this this will also trigger your older pocket wizards is backwards compatible so you could have some manual flashes in the back set up to um, you know 116 power one to one whatever and while you won't have TTL capabilities over it, meaning you won't be able to control how much light is coming out of those through this system um, or have the um, the advantage of TTL you'll be able to trigger them. and that that's pretty cool um, you really have complete freedom so you would have the proper amount of light with through TTL metering on your subject and then in the background you'd have just some manual flashes going off um, that would just be a trigger device. Now comes the Radio Popper Juniors. Basically these little guys, think about it as your multi-maxes and your ultras from your pocket wizards. It's basically a triggering device. It basically allows me to do the exact same thing that I just said but now with the PX system. So I can have a PX transmitter on my master flash, have these hooked up to any type of flash, your Nikons, your other Vivitars, um, and have it set on manual mode and it'll trigger them. However, there's an added bonus that these guys do that Pocket Wizards don't. Now I can set it up to strobe units also. Um, right now that I know of, you have Alien Bees, White Lightnings, and Zeus. And you can set these up through the telephone jack, basically that's right here, and the telephone jack in the back of the, flat, of the strobe unit. And now I have not only a wireless flash, but I have a wireless strobe in the background. But again, the added bonus, not only do I have that more power, but I can also control how much power is coming out of those flash units. So this little guy can literally control up to three strobe units of power. So I basically take a shot. I have the PX controlling my wireless flash, my Canon system or Nikon system right up front with the TTL capabilities like just like the pocket wizard can do and then I have three alien bees in the background for instance um, as ambient light as feel light or as uh, whatever and you take a shot and there's too much backlight I literally can just adjust how much light I want to come out of those with the juniors pretty amazing little system so until again it's kinda like what we talked about with the design with the new mount system until the juniors came out I had to give the um, the advantage to Pocket Wizard, but now that the juniors have come out, and by the way, these are pretty inexpensive, um, I have to give the advantage to Radio Popper because the juniors not only are a trigger device, if you're just a studio photographer, you just want a trigger device for your strobes, you can do that, but it also has the advantage of being able to control three your alien bees um, inside or outside the studio. So I really like the complete system that Radio Popper is giving us with the PX system as our main guy outside and then now the juniors for inside and outside and then you can intermix them. It's just they're really starting to develop an entire package of wireless light controlling aspects that before never were available to professional photographers.